Welcome to this week's edition of The Screening Room. This week we will be talking about movies from the 90s that are high school comedies. I'm Felissa Zilke. I'm Summer Steiner. And I'm Angela Spagnoli. The first movie we were talking about is um, She's All That, my movie. And She's All That stars Freddie Prince Jr. and Rachel Lee Cook in this movie where opposites attract. Um, right when um, Freddie Prince Jr. played by or is Zach, and he is uh, the typical high school athlete, jock, and um, also the president of the student body. And he gets back from spring break to find out that his girlfriend, Taylor, is dumping him for Brock Hudson, MTV's <laughs> real world uh, star. So he and his friends get to talking, and they decide that um, Zach can get any girl to um, can make any girl into prom queen. So his friend uh, Dean, who's played by Paul Walker, chooses the girl, and he settles on Lainey Boggs, played by Rachel Lee Cook. And after a, um, a bunch of pursuing and relentless talking to her, uh, Zach finally gets her to go out with him. Not little does he know that the new, but not improved, but different, <laughs> Lainey Boggs is his dream girl. Let's take a look at the trailer. Zach Seiler had it all. How's it going, man? President of his class, captain of the team, and dating the most popular girl in school. Until she went on spring break. So I've been dancing for maybe five minutes, right? And that's when it happened. I'm Brock Hudson! Brock is from the real world. Like the TV show, okay? But they kicked him out of the house. My condolences go out to Zach, who got dissed and dismissed by his magically delicious girlfriend. In order to save his reputation, he's taken on an impossible bet. I'll pick the girl. And you got six weeks to turn her into the prom queen. Gentlemen, we have a winner. You call off the bet, you lose. I don't lose. So, Lanny, listen, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to embarrass me horribly in front of all these people. <laughs> so, uh, who's the lucky rebound girl? She kind of blew me off. I like her already. Was this some kind of new dork outreach program? Find out where she hangs out, what she does for fun. <laughs> don't tell me you guys are on a date. No, we're just friends. You're just like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. Yeah, except for the whole hooker thing. To everyone here who matters, you're vapor. I forgot why I avoided places like this and people like you. <laughs> am I a bet? Am I a stupid bet? This is one contest you're gonna lose. You're going down, man. Get ready for the film critics call sexy, fun, that's hip, smart, and hilarious. Freddie Prince Jr., Rachel Lee Cook, Matthew Lillard, Usher Raymond, and Jody Lynn O'Keefe. She's all that. All right, so she is all that. I really enjoyed the movie. It's one of my favorites from the 90s. Um, a lot of cute moments and whatever. As I was rewatching it, I had those moments where I just couldn't wait to see the next part because it's funny or something like that. While I do love the movie because of that, there are I felt that it did have a lot of um, inconsistency in the plot. The I just felt it didn't always come right together. It was kind of like like a little parts where there's like a whole like never really explained like they all of a sudden kind of like really good friends but it felt like it was, they knew each other for like two seconds so that's what I thought um, but otherwise it's still it's still a great movie um, what did you guys think I think it's a blast like it's yeah. a really fun movie um, trying to make like the nerdy girl like cool is so I don't know it's an entertaining thing but like the fact of the matter is is like she's gorgeous beneath her glasses <laughs> like it's not that hard to make her beautiful but oh definitely not yeah so I don't know and I think the makeover stuff is such a huge part of the movie when really they're just you know taking off her glasses <laughs> and giving her a haircut and it's not that big a deal but when she comes down the stairs to that music everyone's just like is that her <laughs> um, I feel like that they make it like a big deal of like her, <coughs> how can they make her prom queen and like if she is beautiful? I guess like, but I guess what they're trying to get at is it was like she was kind of like unapproachable. But like at the same time, I felt that she was really easy to like get to know and like. Yeah. like. Mm -hmm. So I don't like it was kind of interesting that they made it so like like picked Lainey when they like showed people that had like a wedgie problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I like that. Um, 
and some interesting other things like uh, they had a lot of um, stars in it, like Usher's in it. Back yeah, in I forgot back in Usher Asia. was in it till we were rewatching it. Yep. And Paul Matthew Walker. Lillard. Yep. Um, I liked the cameo of uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. Where yeah, yeah. She, it's just her talking, like, she didn't even say a word, but that, that always makes me really happy. She's one of my favorite actresses, and her and Freddie Prince Jr. are married now and have a kid, so mm -hmm. I thought that was really cute. One of my personal favorite parts of the movie is at the end at the senior dance when like the whole class does this big synchronized thing that Usher teaches. Yeah. It's just so <laughs> ridiculous. Like the whole senior class is full of like professional dancers and yep. it's just a blast. Um, I read that 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 they added that that scene in just to add a few more minutes <laughs> into, the, <laughs> into the movie. <laughs> I think the robot is one of the moves they do, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, we're going to take a break now here and take a look at the perfect pets at, that are up for adoption and really need a home. Bert is a young little babe looking for a home to help him become a great dog. With time to adjust and the proper introductions, he should do well in a home with both cats, dogs, and children. Vinny is ready for the nice weather and hoping you are too. He is active, eager to please, and silly. He would do best in a home with children 12 years and older. Topaz is a very soft and sweet girl. She loves to play and have lots of fun. She has a wonderful personality and will be a great addition to any home. Cowboy is a very handsome gentleman. He loves attention and would also love to find a lap to keep warm. He has a big personality and needs a home with lots of love. To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. The next movie we're going to be reviewing is 10 Things I Hate About You. 10 Things I Hate About You is about uh, pretty popular Bianca Stratford, played by Larissa Olenek. Um, but she's in a bit of a dilemma. A family rule set up by her father won't allow her to date until her older, um, unpopular, rebellious, boy-hating sister, Kat, played by Julia Stiles, dates. So a potential boyfriend in an attempt to win Bianca over, played by Andrew Keenig, he um, comes up with this idea to set Kat up with the school rebel uh, known as Patrick, played by Heath Ledger. And he just might be rebellious enough to win Kat's heart. Let's take a look at the trailer and find out. There's a difference between like and love. Because I like my Skechers, but I love my Prada backpack. Bianca Stratford is the most popular girl at Padua High. You're asking me out? I'm down. I've got the 411. And you are not going out and getting jiggy with some boy. I don't care how dope his ride is. Her sister, Kat is something else entirely. People perceive you as somewhat tempestuous. Heinous witch is the term used most often. The only thing they have in common. I am the only girl in school who's not dating. Oh, no, you're not. Your sister doesn't date. Is one simple rule. OK, you can date when she does. But she's a mutant. What if she never dates? And you'll never date. Oh, I like that. For Cameron, no one will go out with her. It's a problem. And what about him? I heard he ate a live duck once. So you two are gonna help me tame the wild beast? Absolutely. Touchstone Pictures presents a story for every guy who's ever tried. You never give up, do you? Was that a yes? No. Well, then was that a no? No. Every girl who's ever hoped. <laughs> this is not good. And anyone who's ever been taken completely by surprise. She kissed me. Where? In the car. Ten Things I Hate About You. I really think Ten Things I Hate About You is such a timeless movie. Um, it's modeled after Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew, which I think is important to point out because there's a lot of different Shakespeare references throughout the whole movie. Um, I really, I think it's funny and there's a good satire going on between um, Patrick and Cat, Heath Ledger and Julia Stiles. And I don't know, I think it's really funny on the upside. On the downside, I'd say it's a lot like all the other teen movies of the 90s. But for the most part, you know, it's pretty good. What did you guys think? I, I That's another movie, 90s movie, that I really love. Um, I, I thought that 
like you said, there's like all the Shakespeare references. It was kind of fun too. Like he says, he calls her Taming of the Wild Beast, and that's just like Taming of the Shrew. So yeah, and he refers to her as the Shrew yes. at one point. I think yeah. it's when she um, hits the car. Or? Uh, what's his name? Michael, the tech geek or yep. whatever. He yeah, he's he's like, there's the Shrew. Yeah, <laughs> and I find that funny. I think it's a lot of fun. I really like the. Um, Heath Ledger, he's gorgeous, and he's mm -hmm. just so fun in the movie. He um, plays this really like rebellious bad guy, and like I don't know, just from a female perspective, every girl kind of like finds that attractive or whatever. And there's one point where he's like singing to her in this just oh giant, gosh. outrageous, yeah. like blowout, and like I would die if that happened. That's <laughs> my favorite <laughs> favorite part. So uh, I just love that part. And then it always reminds me of not another teen movie. <laughs> Janie's got Janie's a gun. gun. No, 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 I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, which has both references for uh, She's All That and 10 Things I Hate About You, not another teen movie. So, yeah. but, um, and I, he, speaking of Heath Ledger, I really miss him. And it's really sad. Mm -hmm. And it's like seeing him there and he's just so young and lovable. Yeah. And yeah. You just don't really But still see him dark anymore. and mysterious all oh, at the yeah. same time. And his Australian accent. Yeah. <laughs> Super sexy. <laughs> and I love her uh, speech that she gives, the whole 10 things I hate about you. Yeah. And, you mm -hmm. know, then she starts to cry they, right at the end. I think there's, I think it said online that there are, I think, nine hates and like 13 dislikes or something. Oh, they like counted? That. Like, <laughs> <there's>, <laughs> they said that the number of, <laughs> the number was up for interpretation. Oh, God. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't really say it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't give off the exact number, but, right. um, yeah. Yeah. And I think the um, relationship between both the sisters is really true to form. You know, they always argue and go back and forth, but at the end of the day, they're always there for each other. Like yeah. when, when the whole thing blows up at the end of the prom and she goes and chases after Kat. And I think that's. I true really form. like when um, Kat confides in Bianca, mm -hmm. like the reason that she kind of stays away from boys. Yeah. Like, it really is like a heartfelt moment. And yeah. I feel like she's been wanting to tell her about it the whole time because she kind of calls her name when she first starts getting interested in him, but then, mm -hmm. you know, t doesn't. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll be right back with our last movie and trailer right after Perfect Pets. Bert is a young little babe looking for a home to help him become a great dog. With time to adjust and the proper introductions, he should do well in a home with both cats, dogs, and children. Vinny is ready for the nice weather and hoping you are too. He is active, eager to please, and silly. He would do best in a home with children 12 years and older. Topaz is a very soft and sweet girl. She loves to play and have lots of fun. She has a wonderful personality and will be a great addition to any home. Cowboy is a very handsome gentleman. He loves attention and would also love to find a lap to keep warm. He has a big personality and needs a home with lots of love. To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. So another movie that falls into the 90s teenage rom-com category is Clueless, starring Alicia Silverstone, Stacey Dash, uh, Paul Rudd, and the late Brittany Murphy. Loosely based on the 1815 novel Emma, written by Jane Austen, Clueless follows teen Cher Horowitz around her Beverly Hills High School, where her looks, charm, and wealth make her the queen bee at the school. Uh, Cher lives with her father, who is a high-priced litigator who makes like $500 an hour for just arguing. And um, she also kind of lives with uh, her ex-stepbrother, Josh, who's played by Paul Rudd. Um, he just kind of comes, he's in college and visits on their breaks. Um, so before I give too much away, let's take a look at the trailer for Clueless. So, okay, like right now, for example, the Hadians need to come to America. But some people are all, what about the strain on our resources? And it's like, when I had this garden party for my father's birthday, right?